Sorry. We're in a hurry. Oh, and, uh, I'm not alone. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a prequel of sorts to the Darksiders series with Darksiders Genesis. Released in 2019 on PC and Google Stadia, and 2020 on the Switch, PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One, Developer Airship Syndicate and THQ Nordic brought a different look to what we were used to with the Darksiders, with Darksiders 1 and 2 and 3. Taking a top-down hack-and-slash RPG approach, this game is a spin-off and prequel of the series with Strife and his brother War when they attack Nephilim due to a console's order who suspects Lucifer planning foul play, and they are sent to investigate. Throughout the game, you will progress through 16 chapters, all at different links to collect items, clues, and to find Lucifer and end whatever nefarious plans he has. You are given some very, very impressive CG animation to bring the viewer in on the personality and wit to your characters in the beginning, but deal with just 2D art and voiceovers for the most part for the rest of your journey. <clears throat> Malgros the Defiler, for conspiring with Lucifer, committing countless crimes against all of creation, and by order of the Council, I hereby sentence you to death. At this point, I'd rather kill you than help you. Council be damned. That would profit neither of us. It'll be worth your while. I give you my word. Oh, your word. Why didn't you say so? We'll do it. You can't be serious. Most of the voice actors are done well, especially the bickering between war and strife, which is expected between brothers. But there are times where the character's voices is just hilarious as it just doesn't feel right and more awkward at times. Ooh, finally some room to stretch my legs. Oh, what are you all looking at? Oh, Volgrim, you're alive. Hmm. Looks like our arrangement still stands. The gameplay is a top-down look as you use both analog sticks for the action and you do not have control of the camera. Although the gameplay is very reminiscent to the arcade hit Smash TV, especially for Strife, War is controlled as a slower version, yet powerful close combat warrior. He does major damage and needs getting used to. It is difficult when to block at times as so much action is on screen, leaving you just to button mash. You can also upgrade your character for some RPG elements and able to change characters in single player. If you have a friend, you can play both side-by-side, -side, online, or local co-op. The game is very lenient with lives, as if you die in co-op and your friend doesn't heal you, you can respawn in 5 to 10 seconds. There is no limit to respawning, but if you both die, you are placed back at the last checkpoint. The action is plentiful with a mixture of platforming and puzzle solving. The pace at which these are placed don't make too much sense as it drives the player insane with action, then pause for a puzzle, and pause again for platforming, and finally a boss or more enemies. I find myself trying to just get through the game rather than enjoying the time I had with it. Also, chapter 1 is extremely long. The visuals are nothing too extravagant, and the design choices bore throughout the chapters as everything looks similar to the previous chapter. You will do the same thing over and over again in platforming, puzzle solving, and finally action again just to wake you up from the frustration. Overall, Darksiders Genesis gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its unending sense of pace with more puzzle, platforming, and then action 
and its lackluster visual designs. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. I guess one of us should grab it. <sighs> Would you like me to do it? Hey, I'll watch your back. Ah! I knew it! Level collapse! Waves of enemies! We've already killed everything. Didn't I tell you this was gonna be fun? Damn. Yeah. Uh.